What's up guys, it's your super players, and guess who I have doing this awesome Sin Shenron deck profile? The super pro player. The super pro player, Mr. PPG himself, George Macchiato. What's up guys, how's it going, <laughs> how's it going? Uh, we are here with Sin Shenron, my boy. I built Ooh. this deck, foiled it out completely when set 14 dropped, I forgot what the name was. Well, well, why, why, do you, why do you like the Sin Shenron? I like this guy yeah, because, uh, all right, this is like, I think the only block, the only leader that has a blocker, which is pretty cool. And oh shoot, just, uh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, he, he has blocker. He just has blocker and he restands every time. So like mm -hmm. he attack, he restands. I don't know. I, it just struck me as like a cool mechanic and it has a lot of like looking at the top card mm -hmm. deck, drawing extra cards, doing all that cool stuff. So um, cool. they also have effects when they get discarded. So when you oh, discard them, shoot. they like net extra cards. And what so, does he do when he's awakened? So when he's awakened, I think he untaps one, draw one, and then he goes to the back side. And mm -hmm. the back side, essentially he's a 20k when attacking, draws a card. Mm. On the front side, you attack, discard a shadow dragon, draw two. Gotcha. Uh, draw one, sorry. But then the shadow dragon that you discard normally draws you an extra card. So this guy in the front wow. side, essentially, summary, discard a shadow dragon, draw two. Sick. Back side, 20k, draw one. So Sheesh. either way you see it, it it's, you know, the, the plus 5k is pretty relevant. Ooh. And then at the end of the turn, he restands so that he can block. So he can block on this side and block on this side. Awesome. For sure. uh, you want to be on this back side because you get an extra ability, spirit boost one, to mm. cast any of your extra cards by removing one, um, by removing uh, the spirit boost uh, mechanic, right? Yeah. Minus one marker uh, to do X. And the X is play an extra card, uh, a shadow dragon extra card without paying its um, memory cost, or it's a uh, <laughs> Digimon. Uh, it, it's energy cost. <laughs> okay. Uh, so essentially you get to free play once per turn by doing an activate main or battle, which is really good. Wow. So you can do it like in the middle combat or okay. you know, in the uh, main phase or whatever. So really good. This deck, to do that, you obviously have to be very unison based, which mm -hmm. is unfortunate, but it doesn't live or die by the unison. Honestly, I have won games without unison. All right, let's see that spicy okay, deck profile, man. Uh, we're gonna kick it off with some of the some of the extra cards. So these are the cards that you're gonna be playing mm -hmm. for like free, or you're gonna play them for their for their energy cost. Okay. Because remember, you can play them for free off the spirit boost. So Sweet. this card essentially, all these have limit one, by the way, all these extra cards pretty much, which mm -hmm. means that you can only activate their effects once per turn so that it prevents you from like chaining them all. Um, oh, backside also makes you your opponent mill one every time that you play oh, one of these. Shoot. So every time you play an extra card, you mill one. And then oh. the front side, actually, both players mill one every time you play one. So, oh, wow. Okay. So you can mill your opponent out. That's kind of like a way that you can win. It's not okay. the main way, but you can, you can come out. <laughs> so this, you look at top seven, and you get to play a Toa, or you get to, um, I believe, add a Shadow Dragon, I think. Yeah, Shadow Dragon extra card. So most, the main relevancy of this card is that you want to hit your Toa Unison because Ooh. your Toa Unison is how is how you really get things rocking and rolling in this deck. Mm -hmm. um, this allows you to not deck out. So that way, uh, because you're like filtering through your deck, mm -hmm. milling your opponent, sometimes milling yourself if you're on this side. So uh, one of its abilities allows you to put these extra cards back to the bottom of your deck, which is pretty cool because then essentially you get to a point where you can keep putting back the extra cards over and over again and you keep drawing them because you only have three cards left in the deck or whatever. Okay. Um, but this essentially lets you uh, draw a card and put a card back into your deck. So it doesn't really do a lot, but the cool thing is that not only is it unison, so that you can spirit boost on this side, um, but also this guy has blockers, so if they ever attack the unison, you're like, you can block. block. Oh shoot, you helps you awaken too. Exactly, also you can force combat. So, um, mm. because if they attack unison, you don't have a combat set. Oh. So if you block with a uh, leader, you get a combat step off that, and then you can like spirit ah, boost. Ah, that's pretty nasty. And then trap them with like one of these. And all of these are like activate main slash battles. Mm -hmm. so, like you can activate them in the main or battle. Sick. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. The deck honestly has a lot of nice like little tips and tricks. We play one of this. This is from the new set. Um, mm -hmm. I like this just as a one of. It gives uh, one of your cards revenge. Oh, okay. So because there's so many blockers, obviously, I, I don't think you can give your leader revenge. I've never done it, but I think the main thing is just the battle card, giving the battle card revenge uh, because there's a lot of blockers in this deck. Okay. And um, Pretty cool. So so a lot of the blockers you can play at instant speed or whatever, and then like you get them with this, and this is a good way of getting around the barrier. Yes. This does not target. So revenge is out of nowhere, boom. Here. They're like, oh man. Yeah. <laughs> then another one of, and I like this deck because you can play so many one ofs because you can recycle them with the Toa. You can put all, any of these cards back in. Nice. Yeah. Um, so this card, 
it lets you uh, banish or warp one of their cards. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I think if their deck size is 15 cards or less, yeah, if they have 15 or less cards in their hand in their deck, mm -hmm. it removes the card entirely. But normally this blinks the card, so it essentially goes away for the turn mm -hmm. and then it comes back. So gotcha. this is cool in the middle of combat. Um, but when they have 15 or less, this becomes devastating because it can actually just kill shot anything for one. Sick. Uh, next extra card we play is a new one. This is a new card. This card's nuts. Beats Fort. Yeah, I like this card a lot. Uh, removes anything with barrier 15k or less, which is kind of relevant. Mm -hmm. um, removes poutine. Pretty yep. Cool. Um, uh, that's only on a counter attack. And then this is an activate main slash battle. It pretty much gives you 15k um, for the turn or the battle. It's, it's worded very weirdly. Yeah, that's what I looked at. It. I was like, yeah. I don't know what to do. Yeah. I'm like, uh, so it's a 15k boost if that's their last attack. You essentially keep that 15k boost that's not how they're trying to word it but if they were to keep continuing with their turn it doesn't give like another boost or gotcha so it's essentially either 15k or you know whatever so 15k limit it's a sense one. of being on steroids yeah guys. and then it's a counter <laughs> counter attack to remove which is actually like probably the most relevant part about cool. this card but yeah only three i think three is fine and then this is from the og when it came out like this was this is i still think the best card this is essentially your your sensu beam mm -hmm. looks at the top i think seven eight is it you know five five top five uh black shadow dragon or extra card i believe mm -hmm. uh, it's one or the other yeah a lot of these are very like specific by the way so you're gonna have to read a lot when you're playing against this deck <laughs> you gotta know what it does yeah yeah because some of them are like they trigger with this but not with this you know like mm, you can already okay. tell by the explanation there's a lot of ins and outs to this deck but cool. uh, but yeah essentially it gives you plus 1k for the battle so that's good so if they're attacking you with a bunch of 15ks you do this you're at 16 it's essentially like a beam now they got to throw five yep. to connect so uh this is really good limit one so you can't double beam them <laughs> this is from the new set this is essentially your topo it's uh i think it's discard two cards yeah uh discard two cards so this that's is insane. discard two but remember all your shadow dragons when they're discarded Shadow Dragon uh, battle cards, by the way, not not like mm -hmm. these count as Shadow Dragons, but they're not. It's weird, but yeah. Um, every time they attack, they would have to warp two, I think, or discard two. But yeah, the whole point is this triggers both yeah. of the cards that you discard. So like this card ends up being free. And remember, this may seem like a lot of energy to pay for this card, but off the Spirit Boost, this is free. So cool. Like that's what makes this card like much better. Pretty like, nutty. You only, you only really need two, honestly, because. The Oceanus Negate is much better. Ultimate this Dragon Tackle. Only really good against if they play Unisons. If they have Unisons, you essentially mill one and you do a few more things. But like this normally doesn't come up unless they're playing like a Unison centric deck. And like, nowadays, decks can just function without Unisons. So this card's not all that great. But it's against those matchups where they have the Unison. The one of <laughs> It's sick. Yeah. That's why you get to play a bunch of one of right? Because they're all, they also all count as Shadow Dragons so that you can awaken because you need seven Shadow Dragons with this guy. And then there's certain cards that are just like, oh, you need Shadow Dragons in your drop. So all these extra cards count play as Shadow, as Shadow Dragons. Dragons. Exactly. Wow. That's pretty nuts. Now, this is like your, um, what's it called? Dark Power, uh, the Brainwash Mass Sane. So oh, the one that essentially oh, crits so you a damage. Gotcha. Crits you a damage and you take no damage for the rest. So you only really need this once. So, mm. uh, and remember, like there's a lot of cards, like this card searches you the, you know, any shadow dragon card. So like at any point you need any of these cards, you can kind of search them. Oh, that's nuts, know? dude. So yeah, this, so so much this utility. card, you just hold this on, you hold on to this till the end. And then like when they try to like kill shot you with double strike, you're just like, oh, not got him. And you only play one, that way they never see it coming. <laughs> uh, super combo. Yep. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, searchable. The only reason, yeah, it's searchable because it's a shadow dragon, which is why it's this super combo and not any other super combo. Uh, and then for the creatures, right? So this deck is actually, you know, pretty much a 50-50 split on like creatures versus extra cards, mm -hmm. which makes it a little bit funky sometimes. The main thing about all the creatures, pretty much every creature that we play, I, I believe, when they get discarded, they look at the top card of your deck. Mm. It's a shadow dragon card, not a battle card, just a shadow dragon card and it gets added to your hand. That's nuts. So uh, they get that ability all on play and mm -hmm. all on discard. Okay? Gotcha. So anytime you play any of these, you do that. So these are essentially all like draw one cards. Cool. And then when they're discarded, draw another card. Um, but yeah, this guy's insane because for one energy, you can tap him and mm -hmm. spawn a three cost from your Okay. Hand. So this guy makes it so that you can play anything that costs three in the deck for one. Okay. And he's vulnerable when tapped, so your opponent's going to attack him, mm -hmm. but then you can always block when you're 
Ah, okay. So that's the nifty part about it, like going turn two or yeah. going second and stuff. And you can also just play this guy and leave him on board. And when you're ready to spew out something for like extra value, you can tap him at any time. Gotcha. But expect this guy not to live long because this guy <laughs> makes your one mana, your three mana, uh, three mana cards cost one. So that's all. Nice. This card. This is the one that reborns Toa from the drop, I believe. Yeah. Uh, play up to one Toa from your drop area. Nice. So okay, you're gonna send back. Only play one because yes, when they see the Toa, they're like attack, attack, attack. You can't mm -hmm. win without the Toa. You still can win without the Toa. Like I beat, I beat people without Toa. But this is cool to be able to get it back. And this is three, so you can bring this out with this for cool. one. And he's crit, so like you bring this out for one, replay the Toa. And he's 16 k so they have to combo more. Yeah. The combo, yeah. <laughs> Uh, R.I.P. this not shiny guy, but <laughs> <laughs> uh, critical blocker. When you play, um, I believe this is the one, they all look the same. Uh, choose one of your opponent's battle cards and uh, send it to the warp, then switch attack to when he attacks. Mm -hmm. So this guy, when he attacks, eats something, not ignoring barrier, and then at the end of the turn, we stand. And this is one of those blockers that I was telling you about. This oh. guy always restands, and he always triggers the auto on attack. So this isn't like an easy. It's not effect. once per turn. It's just yeah. like wow. Exactly. So, okay. So because he restands, your opponent can't really get rid of him unless you willingly like block with this guy. Yeah. And if you do, he's 15. He's not that bad. You can you can stop unawakened leaders at the beginning, and then like I said, at any point you can use that slime card to kind of just like punish them for doing that. Dang, that's uh, pretty good. Or he just stays alive for next turn, and the next turn you're just like. Attack swing, again, you know? He's swinging. Yeah, exactly. You just keep swinging and resetting. Him. Swing and reset. So he's cool. I mean, at the beginning, this guy was like four of, but now because you have so many more creatures, like, mm -hmm. there's a lot more options. And you can like cycle through the ones that are like better in certain matchups. This one, uh, this is an on play. Mm -hmm. When it's played, I, I believe you eat anything from their drop area mm -hmm. or their battle area, and you gain the effects what? for the turn. Yeah. You just make sure, yeah. So this double strike, hand, critical, yeah. all double that strike, amazing critical, stuff. Critical, yeah. It has to be five or less in their battle area or drop area. Place it okay. under this card, and then it gets those skills to the end of the turn. So. Dang, that's pretty good. He's cool because he's also 20k. So like this guy was 15, mm -hmm. but this guy is 20. But the only problem with this guy is that he only gets it when he comes out. So gotcha. you need something. This guy can eat like a million things. He's very really hungry. <laughs> hungry, hungry boy. This guy just wants <laughs> one meal. <laughs> one. <laughs> he's good. Uh, he's also a. Uh, Deflect blocker. Yeah. Actually, this one didn't have deflect. Yep. Um, Flex and good. same thing. Uh, blocker at 20k, pretty solid. Mm -hmm. You don't have to attack with him. You can keep him up. He doesn't restand himself. Oh, okay. Yeah. This one doesn't restand himself, but this one does. Cool. They all have their pluses and minuses, right? So like, this guy is my favorite. Guy. This this guy's from the brand new set. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a 14. You can burst one, and I think it's top five. Yep, yeah, top five. Uh, top five, add a Shadow Dragon. Uh, Shadow Dragon, Battle Park, five or less. So it can add himself, actually, which is pretty sick. But yeah, all these are very specific as to what they can get. Like, yeah. some of them can't get extra cards, some of them do. Oh, so you gotta read these like, cards. Five. Yeah, yeah, you're just like, what is this guy doing? Um, <laughs> and I played this deck a lot <laughs> for me to like be like, wait, hold on. Um, but yeah, definitely, if you're playing against this deck, read their cards, because they can unwillingly cheat you uh, with some of these effects. Yeah, yeah. Like, by mistake. Um, and he's cool too because he's a three cost and he's mm. crit. So you can actually spam him with a one drop, bring him out, um, and then just like, oh, crit 20, you know? Yeah. Which is pretty cool. All these guys have like dual purpose. You can either use them for their main effect or if you don't, like they still have some like functionality. Sweet. That's the cool thing about these. They can all do this. They just do and some the, crazy stuff. The first one is cool too because it gets you to your awaken faster. Because to awaken on this side, if they're like not, if they're like trying to stall you out, mm -hmm. you get seven shadow dragons in the drop. This is one. The one that you burst is another. And then you add one. So like that's Yeah, not even the X cards are counted as shadow yeah. dragons. And then so that's when you good. attack, you discard one. You know I me? Mean? So like that's already three off just. Dude, so, that's uh, insane. It's pretty cute. Uh, and even when you are awakened, you want Shadow Dragon from the drop because you get some abilities, which we haven't gotten to the guy yet, but let's hide this one really quick. <laughs> <laughs> so this guy's insane. This is actually one of my favorite ones from mm -hmm. uh, the new set that made this deck a lot better because he's a counter attack, mm -hmm. um, negate the attack, and play this card in rest And mode. he's a blocker. Yes, and he's a blocker. Unfortunately, he comes into play in rest mode. Not, not active. Or else that would be insane, right? You the attack, <laughs> a lot the of block, people like, what? I actually did that once by mistake. By mistake against Andrew Duvall. And that's how I beat him. <laughs> and to this day, if you tell him, if you ever lost this, like, he'll deny it because he said, I played this in active mode, not in rest mode. 
I still beat him. Doesn't matter. Uh, but yeah, this guy, insane. This guy national is, champ, right? National, <laughs> champ, yeah, nah, national champ, my booty. This guy is so good, though. Uh, very good. And he's uh, 14, so if mm -hmm. he does survive, unfortunately, I mean, he can block stuff, but 14 is kind of awkward. He can't block 15. Mm -hmm. We can, but like, whatever. Um, and he gets the end to the battle. Remember, when you block with this, I mean, when you act, I'm pretty sure when you, when you play this card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So this guy, when you negate with him, he, he checks the top card. So he, he's a negate and draw one. Oh, wow. Yeah. So like every other. So you don't neg anything. There's like one or two of these guys that exist that do not check the top card of your deck. Oh. So you got to be careful. Gotcha. Against this deck. Some people play those. Okay. Including myself, I played it at the beginning, and I was like, "Oh, this is insane! It gets me back a card." Yeah. And checks? No, it doesn't check. So, but yeah, this guy's insane because he checks, and if he lives, he, you can slime him, block, whatever. You know, very it's pretty good defensive deck. Yes, very good defensive deck actually. Especially Ooh, speaking yeah, of defensive Haze deck, Shenron. You got the OG Yellow Sin Shenron Haze. This guy mm -hmm. actually works in the deck. You can't check him. Like if you were to check the top part of your deck and you hit yeah. this, sorry, Unlucky. went. You know, unfortunate. There's only I think. Six cards that I play: the Toa, mm -hmm. which you can't get off the check, and this, which you can't get off the check. Everything else in the deck you can get off the check, which is insane. This guy, um, the only thing that's relevant is that if your leader is a Shadow Dragon card, yes, so it works. Uh, you pretty much place this card in the drop area, and any other Shadow Dragon card, mm -hmm. yes, that includes the extra cards because the extra what? cards are Shadow Dragons, yes. Uh, and then you get to pop anything your opponent has with energy cost. I, I believe it's greater. Not greater equal. than their energy. Yeah, it's just great. It has yep. to be greater. It can't be equal. But the cool thing is that if you discard these, these are discarded by a Shadow Dragon card. Not a Black Shadow Dragon card. Very specific, because these only check for Black Shadow Dragons. Mm -hmm. But this can actually discard any Shadow Dragon. Mm. And this doesn't trigger off of only Black Shadow Dragon cards. That's so this, nuts, yeah, dude. So this, the, the, you actually get the draw one if you discard it's any like a Black surprise Shadow attack. Dragon. Yes. Kaboom. So it's a surprise attack out of nowhere. You don't want to play too many, because like I said, you check it, bad. Also, you don't want your opponent knowing that you're playing this. Yeah, you want to keep it in your hand. But two, so gas. Cards are missing. Um, this guy's big, nice. Big boy. Yeah, yeah. He's pretty crazy. I saw some people actually playing him in like Soul Striker. So yeah. That's how that's how crazy this guy is. This guy has four keywords. Deflect, double strike, barrier, blocker. Freaking sick. Um, he also gets an additional ability in this deck with the spirit boost. Mm -hmm. So this guy, I'm sorry, like this guy has a million pieces of text. Oh, this, get this guy's right. nuts. Like yeah. spirit boost one, he gets restanded. Like, yeah, during restand battle. it and uh, your opponent or knows the top card of their deck. Yep. Uh, and you can choose one Shadow Dragon extra card in your hand. Activate its um, skill without paying its energy cost. So it essentially, if you read this guy, this is... He gets this effect, the, the activate main yep. battle once return spirit boost one. So like you get to spirit boost twice if you like play this guy and gotcha. you get two free instances on top of the, hey, I played this, I checked a card, mm -hmm. yada, yada, yada. And you're going to mill one off of this guy's effect. Mm -hmm. If you cast any extra card, you're going to mill one off this effect. Mm -hmm. If you activate his spirit boost one, you're going to mill another one. And if you Jeez. use this, yeah. And then this guy's going to mill you that one. So like, it's actually pretty insane. <laughs> um, but this guy costs four. Four is a lot. Uh, the good thing is that it has deflect, so you're yeah. not like it's always gonna hit no matter what. Yeah. But unfortunately, you can't play this guy till like turn five, maybe six, or whatever. Which is why gotcha. I only play two. Oh my god, best card in the entire deck. Oceanus. This card is so good. The broken topo. Yes, this card. I mean, the discard. The, the most broken part is that you can discard and get the effect. Uh, get the check. You mm -hmm. get me? So like, you don't go negative on this card at all. The only bad thing is that he's 5k, doesn't have barrier, easily removed. Like, I think King Piccolo destroys him because like uh, the King Piccolo unison because mm -hmm. if you counter or whatever. But main thing is your opponent's not going to attack through this. It, it, like this card is so good that mm, regular decks like Soul Striker play this because yeah. they can't afford to attack one or two times. So if you're in a mid range matchup, even a, uh, an aggro matchup, like yep. this is it's pretty nice, super man. deciding. So. What you do is you hold on to this card and then you just use it at the very end of the game. Yep. Uh, you chain a couple on top of each other and your opponent is just dead in the water. And yeah, the they, they don't want to attack. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> they'll the mill five or something. At the beginning, you have so much resiliency. You have the cheap um, negates. You have like all this stuff. Mm -hmm. You have the beans. And so once you get to the end game, you can afford to keep two up to always have this. And then once you have this, like they're just dead. And, and there are even times that I've had this guy countered and then because I have uh, Unison out with this, mm -hmm. I can still play like any of my uh, cards that I wouldn't be able to play if I'm tapped out because they all get played for free. Yeah. So, 
So this card is just like insane. pretty nuts, man. Yeah. There, there was That's a just version, a crazy card. There was a version of this, and if you want to get cute, you can do it. You can play Hatchiac, put back levels five through eight or whatever. Yeah, yeah, Remember yeah. Remember at yeah. the bottom of your yeah, deck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you, you play them again? Deck. Yeah, you can do that in this deck because like you deck yourself out and like you get to so many oh, little cards you're again. Right. So like you can get to an infinite loop if you play the Hatchiac. Um, but it costs, the Hatchiac costs three. So like that's a play that you'll do like turn five or whatever. You put three back and then you get this and then you can, you know, play one of the Sensu Bean, look mm -hmm. at top whatever, get this, you know. Like, this is nuts, cool man. You can do, yeah. but this guy's surviving. <laughs> This guy, holy cow, don't look at the non foil. <laughs> <Don't eyes. look laughs> <laughs> I honestly didn't think this guy was that good, and then I played him. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'm like, well, this never mind. Really good. <laughs> so, for one, I believe he sends a shadow dragon card with energy cost five or less in your battle area to the to the drop, and then mm -hmm. you play this guy, and then I'm pretty sure this guy kills anything, ignoring no, I don't think it ignores there. It mm -hmm. kills anything and sends it to the warp. Yeah. So this is pretty good because they say actually remove two things. One, it gets rid of something that doesn't yeah. have barrier. And then two, it's got 30k. So it can like punch into literally anything. So you're playing this guy for one. And you're usually playing them off of like things that already got their value. Imagine like playing one of these, getting back your Toa, yeah. swinging with this, then paying one to sack this guy off to play this. That's insane. Warp a dude. Reminds me of the other uh, A drop, since you're on the yellow one, the barrier or something yeah, like that. Or yeah, not yeah. the barrier, yeah, the, the one with the negate the effect yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, th this is essentially probably what they were going for. And this is a 5k too. So like mm. almost nothing in this deck are, is like a 10k, which is actually nice. super legit. Yeah, even though they're like huge stat lines and stuff like yeah. that, they're all 5k's. So, and then you get the, and then you get the uh, draw one of the effect too. So you want to play a lot of these because early game, he's not going to be that great. And you're going to want to discard them and get the like checks and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But you want to have this guy, like you always want to have one or two ready for whenever you need to deal with something. Gotcha. Because this guy essentially, either he's not killing it because it doesn't have barrier and then you could run over it because the barrier, like the cards that have barrier, like Lord Slug don't have huge stat lines. So like 30K is already huge for them to yep. have to block or whatever. Like this guy is just really good. A lot better than I thought. And this guy, honestly, I'm probably gonna trim to one. I haven't been super impressed with this guy, mm -hmm. but he is a cool idea. And this is why I was talking about like, oh, like it's probably good for you to have a bunch of shadow dragons in the drop. Mm -hmm. uh, off of bursting and stuff as you know this deck doesn't have any over realms or anything like that so you shouldn't yeah. be warping anything but this pretty much you warp seven uh battle uh seven uh, uh shadow dragons and you play this guy for two so for two mm. this triple striking 30k monster comes down it's like the budget promo one yeah yeah so um and, and then you get to you know get the check a card and all that stuff but essentially the whole idea is that you play this when you're at three or more and mm. you can like 30k triple just pressure it. it's just pressure but honestly like i think this guy is pro probably does the job a lot Not better. cheaper yeah but um obviously the cost on here is also getting rid of a dude but mm -hmm. um this guy's also like decent against sex that just won't have an answer to him mm -hmm. um or you feel like your opponent just doesn't respect you and they're like oh they're gonna mill me out they're, yeah. not, gonna, they're not gonna kill me like, yeah, you kill him with this, you kill him with this, you get me? Like, all your other dudes have crit and all that yeah, stuff, yeah. so, like, you don't have to deck them out, and this is part of the reason why you want to respect them, like, actually defending their life, because if they defend their life and use their super combos and all that shit, mm -hmm. they're getting closer to your win con, and if they don't respect any of these and charge all their negates and, yeah. you know, play really loose, then you can punish them with it. Which is why I'll probably have, like, maybe one still on the main board, mm. but... It's just, I feel like just having him is okay, but I've never actually resolved him. <laughs> and seven, like, banishing seven Shadow Dragons is also pretty big, especially because your Toa puts back, uh, your Toa can put back the extra cards. Mm -hmm. And that's what you typically want to do when you get to late game. So you take away targets from this in so that you don't deck yourself out. Gotcha. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, wow. Sorry for the- Hold on. There's, oh, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, the yeah, money card right here. Money card, money card. <laughs> Sin, Shenron, Corrupted by Darkness. So this is a secret rare that we play. The only reason why we play this card is because you can actually check him off the top of your deck, which is really good, um, because he is a Sin Shenron. So mm -hmm. um, what I don't like about this card is that it essentially costs two. You have to pay one to combo with him. Mm -hmm. And then once you combo with him, you can pay one, and then yep. at the end of the battle, Rest bring him out. But if you, if you bring him out, you like tap a bunch of their cards, essentially. Um, which can end their turn. You can also tap their leader, mm -hmm. you can tap their unisons, I believe. Too. Everything. 
almost everything. Yeah, it should be everything. Uh, and it's treated as black in all areas, which is why you can check it. That's why you can check even though this card is yellow. So this card is yellow, but um, you never want to charge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but but no, it's good because you can actually check them off the top, off like oh, playing any yeah, gotcha. uh, general. Because otherwise, that's why you can't. That's why the haze. The haze you can't get from the top because it's a yellow. Gotcha. General. But this is black in all areas. Therefore, if I play something and I check this, boom, I Sweet. check it and it's good. Yeah. And then for four, you can get uh, double strike and duels. I don't. I don't think I've ever done this. The biggest thing is that I play blocker, this, man. end their turn, right? Yeah. And it's a blocker. And then on my turn, I can go in. But yeah, I just feel like now because this guy, I'm like, why does this guy not have deflect? I don't know. It's just so hard to land this guy sometimes. <laughs> but. It gives me, by playing this guy, it gives me one last thing to whiff on because I'm always hitting this guy. And then yeah. two, there's gonna just not gonna be any decks that I'm gonna be scared about them counter playing this guy. Um, cool. And then it can end the turn immediately if I, if I play this guy. Awesome. Yep, that's pretty much it. Now that's it. There that's you guys have it. Any uh, shout outs you wanna do, dude? Uh, yeah, I wanted to give a shout out to Duvall. I clapped him with this deck, National <laughs> Champion. Yeah, right. Uh, and then. <laughs> And then uh, Anthony for coming out to the yeah, shop. Of it's course, been, man. It's been sick. He li I literally gave him the VIP tour. He saw all the ins and outs. Um, and uh, yeah, just everybody at home. Thank you guys for watching the deck profile. Hope you guys were entertained. Sorry for the autobiography on everything, but the deck is super complex. Mm -hmm. If you've ever played it, you probably know what I'm talking about. There's just so many cool interactions. And uh, honestly, it's one of my favorite uh, decks because it's so, so hard to maneuver with. And yeah. I feel like I'm learning new things every time I play with it. So. Sweet. Thank you, man, yeah. for having me come in and, of course. and showing me this awesome this deck. Comfy e wind chair. Shout out to my sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank All you right. so much, man. Really appreciate sure, you man. having thank me on the you. channel. Yeah. And like we always say, y'all stay super. super.